Uh, what kind of information is provided to masters of bulk carriers is uh, what is discussed in this video today. All right, so the information uh, that is provided firstly by the shipper to the master uh, is as per SOLAS and the information should include firstly for general cargoes and that also includes cargo carried in units uh, is a general description of the cargo uh, the gross mass to be loaded uh, or gross weight to be loaded special properties of the cargo if any uh, including if the cargoes are dangerous uh, are classified under dangerous goods information to find that the cargoes are compatible with each other or not uh, so if the cargo is suitable for the ship or not or ship is suitable for the cargo or not uh, cargo can be safely stored and secured on board how it can be done so and if its storage can be properly planned uh, other information for bulk cargoes that that is to be provided by the shipper to the ship's master will include the storage factor of the cargo and the likelihood of it shifting alongside the angle of repose the trimming procedure or any other special property for certain concentrates or other cargoes that may liquefy during the voyage due to the ship's vibration or compaction uh, a certificate giving the moisture content and the transportable moisture limit should also be provided so if you don't know what a moisture content and transportable moisture limit is please watch my other videos i'll give you the link to those videos below but i have been making a few videos on the carriage of bulk carriers now and you should be watching all the videos uh, to gain a good knowledge of uh, this topic uh, other information that should be provided by the shipper should include the information on toxicity of the cargo uh, corrosivity of the cargo uh, storage factor moisture content angle of repose etc that was covered earlier as well for bulk cargoes other than uh, that are classified in the IMDG code but which have a potential hazard due to its chemical properties then additional information regarding the chemical properties should also be provided by the shipper to the master. Uh, other information that should be provided to the master of the bulk carrier as per SOLAS stability and cargo loading data booklet should be provided the ballasting and deballasting rates and capacities of the ship uh, maximum allowable load per unit surface area of the tank top plating, uh, general loading and discharging instructions with regard to the strength of the ship structure, including any limitation on the most adverse conditions and during loading, discharging or ballasting operations in the voyage should also be provided to the master. Finally, if there is any special restrictions imposed by the administration that is the flag state um, should also be provided to the master and where strength calculations required maximum permissible forces and moments uh, especially storage factor and bending moments that will be experienced by the ship's hull during the loading discharging and during the voyage at sea should also be provided to the master. 